everyone. Welcome to another underrated film Saturday. Apologize this video had to be delayed. Unfortunately, I was pretty busy over the weekend, but I should be caught up by the end of today. So without further ado, let me address what film I wanted to talk about, and that is Syriana. Uh, this was made in 2005, um, so it's pretty old uh, already by, I guess, today's standards. Um, being over 10 years old, uh, but it highlights some very interesting things, uh, and, uh, unfortunately I think this got a little bit pushed under the bus, so, uh, basically, even though this film has a lot of big names like George Clooney and Matt Damon, uh, I think a lot of people didn't really look a whole lot into this film only because it's pretty slow in its presentation, and it's one of those films where you kind of have to pay attention to. It's one of the reasons why I think some people may or may not like The Godfather because, you know, it moves at that very slow pace. And again, it's a film designed to make you think and whatnot. And sometimes people aren't really interested in that entertainment. And I understand some people just kind of want to more watch and turn their brain off a little bit uh, more so. But I think it's good that films try to at least push the envelope and make you think about things. Um, and I think Syriana succeeds in doing that in certain respects. It's obviously nowhere near caliber of to any film category, but I still think it deserves a little bit of uh, more recognition, at least, from, uh, from than from what it initially um, uh, got, at least as far as um, people knowing about it or really paying attention to it. Um, so, basically, this takes place uh, sort of within the uh, surroundings of Middle Eastern oil, in particular the oil industry that is heavily uh, influenced within uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, and what's really cool about this film is, is that instead of focusing on one particular storyline, they focus on three sort of separate storylines that somewhat connect to one another. And you'll sort of see how they sort of connect as you choose to, or if you choose to watch this film. But basically, we have sort of three main characters. Uh, we have um, Bennett Holiday, who's played by Jeffrey Wright, and he is a lawyer that's basically in charge of a uh, merger between two big oil companies. And these oil companies are obviously based within the Middle East. Um, and you sort of see his story. And then you also see Matt Damon's story, um, and the character he's playing is Brian Woodman. Um, and he's basically an energy analyst. Um, and you'll sort of see how throughout this, throughout the film, he sort of experiences tragedy and then also sort of a new sense of optimism and opportunity as well. Um, and you'll sort of see how that connects, uh, to Saudi Arabia. Um, and... Finally, we have the third character who is sort of a veteran CIA agent named Bob Barn Barnes, who's played by George Clooney. And basically, um, his sort of role is that he actually ends up discovering uh, a, an assassination plot. Um, uh, and basically you'll sort of see how that eventually sort of ties in with Matt Damon's character a little bit um and eventually how everything sort of all gets rolled together into together um but what I think works really well to this film's advantage is that I think it does really showcase the influence that oil has within that region um I think that that cannot be denied that that's really a big part of the reality as far as um, the Middle East is concerned. Um, and it's kind of interesting to see all of these different people sort of uh, being sort of in this particular space 
uh, and time. So uh, it kind of gives you a sort of interesting perspective in that sense. Now, I understand if certain parts might be a little bit confusing and they may not be as well explained um, as maybe they could have been. Uh, but I think despite that, it still offers something that is, I think, uh, fairly uh, interesting and still uh, engaging. Um, and even though these characters are not necessarily the most interesting, it more, I think, has to do so more with the plot and story rather than these characters. It's more of the circumstances they're in. It's not about their development or their... Um, you know, or, or their really personal struggles, even though they kind of try to do that maybe a little bit with Matt Damon's character only because he has a certain level of tragedy that happens within his life. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's designed to sort of um, make you think about um, these sorts of issues and how um, it's sort of unfortunate that the people within uh, a certain level of reason and end up wanting to do the right thing uh, end up sort of getting um, sort of uh, shut down at least uh, to a certain extent and uh, it's one that I think uh, is worthy of of exploring if you're interested in these kinds of sort of geopolitical type films um and it does play with a certain amount of realism i'd say and and you know you you can get the sense of this actually being like uh, it actually is in that part of the world uh sort of similar to how uh uh 13 Hours uh, really did try to give you a sense of, of grit that was sort of um, a part of that whole uh, experience in Libya. So uh, again, it's really, I think, well presented here because you sort of see the luxury that um, the people, or at least the people that are uh, that have connections to that oil, to that particular industry have so much, uh, have a very uh, luxurious lifestyle, and then you see the people who are sort of working on the oil rigs, and you know how they're all, uh, all uh, messed up um, and uh, dirty and poor. Uh, so a again, it, it provides a very uh, overall, I think, interesting. Uh, way of looking at uh, at things but uh it's definitely not a film that's for everybody but i kind of uh think that it deserves at least some exploration if you're interested in these sorts of films and i think it overall gave off an interesting uh impression and um and a unique one at that for me but i can understand if maybe some people feel differently than i do but I think that's really ultimately all I can say, though, about this particular film. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you all next week. Take care.